Matthew Carlin and I'm the duty manager at London City Airport. My main responsibilities are sales and service uh, following the wheel. The City Airport manager role is to um, really sort of drive the business on the locations that we look after. So my key responsibilities are um, the P&L ultimately, the running of the offices, so making sure that the duty managers are, know what their targets are, I'm reviewing their targets with them, they're actioning anything to do with net promoter. My name is Shannon Gelman and I'm the city manager here in Nice Airport. Well, nice Airport is a very big uh, office, uh, the most important in my area and uh, we have more than 4,000 cars in our fleet. My role consists in um, kind of managing the team in order to make everything happen the best possible. We are always in contact with people, with customers. My job is really to, to coach them the best I can and always try to give them the smile. I expect my managers to be uh, our true leader, which means to uh, transform all uh, the vision of the group and my vision into reality on the field. In every airport environment, it's really important to secure as much walk-in business as possible. And the only way that you can secure walk-in business is by making sure the customer leaves you with a positive frame of mind. So as soon as someone walks through the door, stand up, smile, greet them. If they haven't got a booking, they're more than likely going to come to you now because you've stood up and acknowledged them. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm coaching the team, setting them sales targets, make sure that we're not just selling to the customers, but providing them with a good experience. It's no good getting the sale from them and then not coming back because they feel that they've been treated poorly by Avis. Every time I visit a location, I do the walk of the customer from where they might have arrived at the location to our rental desk, and then I'll complete observations on the team that are serving the customers to make sure that I'm picking up points that could be improved. And you spend a lot of your day reacting to customers' needs, dealing with things that you, you, you didn't set your day out to plan for. The challenges that we face tend to centre around people and fleet. So at the moment we're 24 heads short within our region, so it's making sure we've got the right people in the right places at the right time, and also the same with the cars. Uh, every day you have something happening, every day you have to deal with the uh, client, with the fleet, cars available, not available. Dealing with difficult customers or customers who are upset, we implement a policy of listen and resolve. So first of all, we listen to their problem, let them know that we're personally going to deal with it, and then deal with it. There's not many problems that we won't be able to resolve at a branch level. There's no point just saying to the customer, right into customer service, they go away, and in that time, before they've emailed customer service, they've told 15 people how rubbish Avis was at helping them. Communication is very important, so speaking with different persons and see where the problem could be and uh, how to solve that out. Some of my stations don't have managers and I think they do find that challenging at times so that's why they know that I'm always available for them. You have to be uh, motivated, this is also the job of the manager. I think that what makes us better um, in the competition is the people that we have working for us. So I really do believe we've got the best people in the industry working for Avis Budget and also we've got the best fleet. So it really helps our people push our ancillary sales. For me this industry sector is really focused on client satisfaction. You, you don't have the right not to provide the best service you can. We're all here to serve the customer, that's it. Avis that is now compared to two years ago is completely different. We've got more um, focus on service, uh, more focus on sales. So now we've got fleet that's only four months old, whereas maybe two, three years ago we had cars that we'd had on fleet for a year. The team that we have now, and um, the region that we have now, is the best team that I've ever worked in. We're maybe at the moment one step ahead of the competition with our fleet and what we're doing with our people. I love the excitement, I love working with the customers, the company, and I mean it's challenging, but that's what I love about it. What I like about Avis is I think it's a complete job. I love the dynamic role. I love that every day is different. I can come in and there's unexpected problems. It encourages you to think on your feet. It makes the role exciting. I've got to say this is the best I've ever seen there.